Welcome to the Edgar Street Stadium, the home of Hereford FC. Tonight's pre-season friendly sees the Bulls face Arsenal under 23s. Great weather. It's going to be a fantastic crowd, decent football, a great atmosphere. We cannot wait to get underway today. Join with two of the players who were involved in the 1985 FA Cup game. We've got Mel Pedrick and, and Keith Hicks. You were the centre half pairing uh, that, that game. Was it, was it Paul Mariner and Tony Woodcock? You were the Charlie Nicholas. Charlie Nicholas. Yeah, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, So it was a bit of a zero to sort of contend with there. And I think Tony Woodcock slammed down for about 25 yards into the top corner, didn't he? Is that your fault? No, it's Kev's. Oh, Kev's. Right, okay. Rosie, Rosie <laughs> should have caught it. I thought, I thought you were marking it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was marking, I was marking Paul Mariner, it might be wrong. No, yeah, no, no. Oh, Keith, what do you remember from the goal, from, from Chris Price equalising after yeah, was just Woodcock's goal? Typical Price, he was just like, always up there. He was supposed to be a right back, but he spent most of his time on right side, midfield or right wing or whatever. But my record, um, sort of Chris, Woodcock was always there, right back, right wing, right back, right wing, 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 right you could tell he didn't want to come. He didn't want to come in on that day and play against us. And we'd all worn like the normal shoes, the uh, the simple yes. shoes. And we were okay. We could see him in the one like falling over, slipping the hot gas. And we thought, yeah, they don't want to be here today, so we'll give it them. Mm -hmm. To be fair to me, I think we should have won that game. In the second half, Jimmy Harden just pulled the strings. Yeah, and he was just he was dominating the centre. Yeah, we had, we had a good team then. I think we controlled long periods of that game and. Uh, you know, sometimes it's small margins that determine them, them sort of games. And so, as Keith said, we, I thought we were a bit unfortunate really not to win the game. But then, you know, you have to do it, don't you? You have to sort of take opportunities when they come along. So. So we are here in the press box for Hereford versus Arsenal where Hereford has just gone up 1-0 after 36 seconds and at the moment they're playing really well actually, controlling the game. So it is currently half time here at Edgar Street, it is Hereford 1, Arsenal 2. Hereford taking the lead early on after 36 seconds with professionalism and Arsenal has brought it back. It's been a great evening here at Edgar Street, fantastic crowd, 2,456, Hereford took the lead and then Arsenal probably showed that little bit of extra quality, but no disgrace for the Bulls, going down 3-1 this evening to Arsenal under 23.